In this video we're going to have a look at percentages and how we can use different strategies to calculate the percentage of an amount without a calculator. Percentages are really nice because there is so many different ways that we can do them. Um, but you can, it would be really helpful if you know a few core main facts. It's helpful to know um, a few things with percentages. For example, it's helpful to know that 10% is the same as 1 tenth. That's really helpful if you know that. It's also helpful if you know that 50% is the same as a half. If you got 50% of something, that means you got half of it. If you got 25%, that is the same as one quarter. The thing that's so nice about percentages is that they're all related. For example, if we know 10%, if we know that 10% of something, for example, is 7, well, we know that 20% is just double 10%, so 20% would be 14. Or if we know that 10% is 7, we know that 5%, i.e. I've half this guy, so I can half 7 and get 3.5. Okay, it's all related. If we know that 50% is 12, well, therefore, we know that 100%, i.e. I've times this by 2, I know that 100% was 24. Or if I know that 50% was 12, if I half 50% to get 25%, to get rid of that, there we go, if we half it, we would find that 25% is 6. So this isn't a specific example here, we just, we just know that percentages are all interlinked. And if we can work with these core examples here, if we can work with 10%, 50% and 25% will be able to build up answers for the rest of any questions that we need to have a look at. Okay, so an example one, where is it? There we go. Calculate 10% of 723. Okay, so 10% of 723, well, we know that 10% is 1 tenth. So to find 10%, what I can do is I can simply divide this total by 10. And 723 divided by 10, I'll just write this down, sorry, 10% of 723 is going to be 723 divided by 10, which is 72.3. Okay, so to find 10%, we can multiply by 10. If the question said, what is 20% of 723? Well, if we know that 10%, let's get this guy here, if we know that 10% is 723, to get 20%, I can simply scale up 10 to 20 of times by 2. So if I times this by 2, I would get, what, 144.6? It's not asked for in this question. But that's what we mean. We can kind of interlink all these ideas to find related percentages. Okay, so that's a quite straightforward one, 10% of 723. This example here, calculate 25% of 28. There's a few different ways that you can do this. Okay, if you don't know that 25% is a quarter, what you might think to do is to build it up. Because a good one to start with is always 10%. 10% 10 of 28 is going to be 2.8. I want to have 25%. So see, to get 25%, I'll need to have a 20 and a 5. So 5%. So 5% of 28. Well, to get from there to there, I have divided by 2. So I can half this and divide this by 2. So I know that 5% is 1.4. But I want 25%. So 20%. Of 28 well I know that to get from here to here I can times by 2 so to work out 20% I can times this by 2 2 times 2.8 is 5.6 so altogether I want to work out 25% so 25% we can make up with 20% and 5% so altogether 25% of 28 we can work out by adding together these two values, 
1.4 plus 5.6. 1 1.4 plus 5.6. And I think that's going to come out to be 7. Okay, so we can build up a percentage here. We can build up 25%. That's going to be one method. Another method is just to be able to spot that 25% is the same as a quarter, as we took a wee note up there. If you know that 25% is a quarter, what we could do is we could just 25% uh, of 28. Because we know that 25% is a quarter, we could just find a quarter of 28, which will give us our 7. Obviously, you can see that in this example, the strategy in the right was much more efficient than the strategy on the left. As long as we can get to the correct final answer, though, we're quite happy with whatever you would like to take. We would also prefer if you could choose the more efficient strategy, but as long as you can get here, that's the most important thing. Example 3, I've got one more after this. Calculate 5% of 34. 5% of 34. Okay, so maybe it would be worthwhile to work out 10%. 10% 10 of 34. Well, 10% is 1 tenth. So I can divide 34 by 10 and get 3.4. So if I want to work out 5%, 5% is half of 10%. So what I can do to this value here is I can half it. Half of 3.4. If you're not sure about that, just do it in a wee calculation. 2 into 3.4. 2 goes into 3 once with 1 left over. Put my decimal point, 2 into 14 goes 7 times. So 5% of 34 is 1.7. Okay. Uh, one final example. Example 4. Calculate 75% of 32. We're going to have a look at a few examples here. Um, but 75%, we're going to need to build this up. Okay, so I can maybe work out 10% first. So 10% of 32, I know 10% is 1 tenth, so 1 tenth 32 is 3.2. So I want 75%. Okay, so maybe I could work out 70% next. Because I know that 70% is 7 times as big as 10%. So what I can do to work out 70% is I can multiply that value by 7. 3.2 multiplied by 7. If I've got a decimal point in the question, I need a decimal point in my answer. 7 times 2 is 14, plus that 1. 7 times 3 is 21, plus my 1 is 22. So I know that 70% is 22.4. But what is it I want to find out? I want to find out 75%. So I know what 70% is, but I also need to know what 5% is. So I'm going to work out 5% of 32. There's a few different ways that we can have a look at this, but if you spot, if I know 10%, I can work out 5%, because to get from 10% to 5%, I can half it. So what I can do to work out this value here is I can half it. Okay, so I can do this in my head if I can. Or I can do it the side if I'm not sure. 2 into 3.2. 2 into 3 goes 1. Which means I 1. Need my decimal point. 2 into 12 goes 6. So 5% is going to be 1.6. So I wanted to work out what was 75% of 32. Okay, so 75% we can make up with 70 and 5%. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take these two values here and add them together to work out 75%. 22.4 plus 1.6, and I think that's going to give us 24. Okay, so hopefully you can see that that's a way that we could build it up. There is another way. Okay, there is another way. See if you know 70, or how will I say this? There is one of these things that we can do to make our lives a wee bit more straightforward. Because guys, do you remember when I said at the start that 25% is the same as one quarter? So see if I wanted to work out 25% of 32, I would divide 32 by 4. 
and I would get 8. Okay, so 25% is 8. But see, the thing is, see, 75%. There we go. 75% is actually 3 times 25%. 75% is 3 quarters, okay? 75% up here is actually 3 quarters, okay? So we could just work out 3 quarters of 32, okay? So if I've times this by 3, I can multiply this by 3, and we'll get the exact same answer of 24. Do you see how there's, once again, a quicker way, and um, maybe a more efficient way? But as long as we can work with 10% and be able to build our answers, sometimes we'll get decimals, that's okay, decimals are fine, decimals are a friend. Um, but this is generally how we can build these up. As long as you know how to work out 10%, you'll be able to build up your answer from there. Okay, thank you very much everyone.